Okay, the instructions on <coughs> forgiveness meditation. You start out by saying to yourself, I forgive myself for not understanding. And you say that a few times. And then you take, you say, I forgive myself for not understanding. And then you take the, that feeling of the understanding and put it in your heart and radiate that to yourself. If your mind gets distracted, or not if, when, yeah. your mind gets distracted, then you use the six R's. You recognize that your mind is distracted. You release this distraction by not keeping your attention on it. <coughs> you relax the tightness in your head. Oh, there's, this is your brain. <coughs> And there's a membrane that goes around this. It's called the meninges. It goes around each half. Every time you have a thought, every time you have a sensation, every time you have a feeling arise, your brain expands against the meninges and it causes tightness. Now this tightness is craving. That's how you recognize tightness. So when you relax that, you'll feel kind of, it, it almost feels like an expansion, but it's just a going back to normal. And you'll notice that your mind doesn't have any thoughts your mind is very clear, your mind is very bright, and your mind is pure. Why is it pure? Because you've let go of craving. Craving is the I like it, I don't like it mind. When a feeling arises, if it's a pleasant feeling, I like it. If it's a painful feeling, I don't like it. That's what craving is. So when your mind gets distracted, you recognize it, you release it by not keeping your attention on the content of that thought. You relax the tightness in your head. You re-smile. Smiling is a very important part of this meditation. So you need to practice <coughs> smiling all the time. Smiling in your mind. Smiling with your eyes. You'd be, be surprised how much tension and tightness that you can have in your eyes. So just relax and smile there. A little Buddha smile on your lips. A smile in your heart. And then you come back to I forgive myself for not understanding. Your mind can have some resistance to this. And it'll start saying, uh, I, I don't really, it's, this is stupid, I don't want to do this, I, this doesn't work. So you just 6R that and come back and do it again. After a period of time, there can be some memories of things or people that come up or situations that come up that uh, you had a hard time with, either the person or situation. So you focus on that. Now, let's say it's a person. You look that person in the eye and you say, I forgive you for 
not understanding or for uh, for causing me pain, whatever it happens to be, whatever is appropriate. And you stay with that person. Now you're going to have some uh, resistance to forgiving that person, but it doesn't matter. You forgive them, you look them in the eye and say, I really do forgive you for whatever. And then you put that person in your heart and radiate loving kind uh, the forgiveness to them. And your mind is going to distract away and say, no, I don't want to do this. And you six are that and come back and do it again. You need to sit between uh, 45 minutes and an hour every time. If you stay with that same person the whole time, that's fine. If you just stay with yourself the whole time, that's fine. But every time you get distracted, you have to 6R and come back and do it again. <coughs> and then put them in your heart and radiate forgiveness to them. Right at the end of your sitting, then you hear them say back to you, I forgive you too, for whatever reason. So you're, it's like a complete circle. You forgive yourself, you forgive them, they forgive you. Then when you get up and start walking, uh, your right foot, I forgive you, you forgive me. Okay, so you, you walk at a normal pace and just keep that in your mind all the time. If there's resistance or distraction, 6R, and come back and do it again. You want to carry the forgiveness with you the whole time. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If somebody says something and it makes your mind a little bit hard, you forgive them right then in your mind and you put them in your heart and radiate that forgiveness to them. So your mind is going to have a lot of uh, a resistance to this at first until you start learning that it that, that it works <laughs> so stay with it and to stay with that same person until you feel relief and you feel like I really have forgiven that that person or that situation and then you come back to yourself and you forgive yourself again for not understanding or causing yourself <coughs> pain. Uh, and stay with yourself until somebody else comes up. And stay with that until you feel like you don't need to forgive anybody anymore, like you're done. Your mind will tell you, I don't need to do this anymore. So, okay?